Welcome back. It's time for another quick fight with Hy-Vee dietitian Katie George. And I know people like to make the same things every year for Thanksgiving. Yes. But sometimes you want to spice it up with something it up different. A bit. Yeah. So we're talking turkey and stuffing and cranberries. Oh my, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you the greatest thing? Um, so I was at a local store recently, and they had a candle-scented Thanksgiving gathering. I was like, what is this all about? You turn it what? over, it's like stuffing gravy, um, turkey, <laughs> and you opened it up, smell like Thanksgiving Just like it. Day. Wow. Yes, wow. and so we are all about Thanksgiving and getting some uh, <laughs> fall Thanksgiving flavors into our um, meals. And so yeah. this is a recipe that can be used prior to or after Thanksgiving, even if you have some leftovers. So. Um, one of the main components of Thanksgiving, um, and I know you said that oh. you were a main fan of it, is cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce in the can. In the in can. The can. <laughs> it's the way to go, right? So yeah. we are actually going to be making um, a meatball recipe with a cranberry glaze. Ooh. And so this, again, use it if you're kind of like, I want that fall flavor, or use it if you have some leftover cranberry sauce after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, um, we just got to prep our sauce here, and so into my bowl, I do have our canned cranberry sauce, so we're going to just um, kind of mush it up is the only way I'm going to explain it, and you just want to get it nice and smooth. This is going to go over your meatballs and uh, really create a very awesome sauce. So from here, we are going to add some hoisin sauce. Are you familiar with hoisin? Yeah. Yes, so the hoisin sauce is actually um, a, so we're, it's about a fourth of a cup, not a ton. Um, it is a pretty salty um, condiment, but it's going to add, it's going to balance out that sweetness of the mm -hmm. cranberry sauce. So mix that in. We are going to add just a little bit of ketchup as well. And again, about a fourth of a cup or in my terminology, a, a good squeeze <laughs> works too, right? And then um, a little bit of soy sauce. Again, just that salty component and brown sugar Yum. for a little extra sweetness. Um, and again, just not too much brown sugar. This is just going to add a little bit of sweetness and, and balance out the, the citrus uh, um, acid of the cranberry sauce. So literally, we're going to mix this all together. And it's a pretty thick sauce that you can see. But once we put it over the meatballs, and this actually works great on the skillet, or throw it in the crock pot. We are just using some pre-cooked meatballs. Um, and these are frozen. They're fully cooked. But if you have meatballs at home and you're wanting to dress them, this is another awesome sauce. So. Uh, meatballs in the skillet or meatballs in the crock pot and then you just dress it with this sauce. The sauce does get a little bit thicker and a little bit stickier as you can see here in um, my skillet and just is going to give you that amazing fall flavor. A little bit of cranberry in it, a little bit of cranberry, um, but not too this, sweet. This smells sure. amazing. Yes. Oh. So this can be served over rice, actually can be utilized on top of a salad if you want, eaten on its own, licked out of the pan, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever you your do, options yeah. are. But you can just see kind of how the, the sauce kind of thickens mm -hmm. up and really creates a very rich flavor for you. So before or after Thanksgiving, just a really super simple option. Perfect. Katie, thank you. Yes.